So I wanted to show this to you because I thought this was um, pretty cool stuff. Um, so th this is a kind of a weird setup because uh, the a Android devices don't have a, a way to cast their screens onto um, PCs yet. Anyway, so uh, um, so what we've got here is my um, my iPad, which is uh, uh, being cast to my screen, my uh, PC using uh, Reflector, and it's just taking an image of uh, of the uh, Nexus 7. So I've got the Nexus 7 room running, and I've got a simple um, uh, phone gap build alpha anywhere component loaded here. Well, actually not. It, yeah, it's loaded. It's installed. It's this one here called Push Notify Test. And that's what we're doing here. We're, we're doing some push notification out to uh, Android through Alpha um, and through a server sitting on Node.js. So what I'm going to do here first, let me pull this into view. I'm going to start uh, my server on Node.js. So that's running. So that's good. And now what we're going to do is we're going to fire up the app. Uh, on, uh, so I've got all these messages in here just to tell me that uh, it's being initialized and it's all okay. That's beautiful. I got my registration ID. So there we are. So that's uh, that's my alpha UX. So it's running and sitting there waiting to receive push notifications. Now over here on this side, I've got another app that's just running. Um, just in live preview and I'm, I'm going to send out a push notification to um, the alpha server which in turn is going to do an AJAX callback which is sending out um, an HTTP call to the Node.js server that's running on my local host and uh, it the um, and that is going to uh, fire off um, a uh, push notification to uh, my Android device click that and there's that so that's great and now we're going to um, we're just going to minimize that stuff I'm just going to bring that over here and we're going to do that again and there's my push notification so I can I can uh, have a look at that now and there it is and then I'm going to take the, my app and I'm going to close it so it's closed. And of course, I'm going to do another push notification. And there we are again. And I can open that up and it'll fire up the app and go through its processes. And I just think that's the coolest thing. And I have no idea how to get it running on a real server, but. Um, that's one of the next challenges and um, the next thing to do is to try this with uh, iOS which again is way beyond me but uh, we'll give it a shot but I just thought that was very very cool stuff thanks for having a look